guys have to do to lock this down? Uh, I think we just had to get back to our identity, uh, which is defense and, and rebounding and, you know, really holding opponents, making them uncomfortable. And, um, and I felt like we did a good job at that towards the end of the game and in, the, in the final, I think, like five or six minutes. Um, I think we really went back to our identity and uh, what's got us this far, so, uh, this far, and that's our defense, and that's what we hang our hat on. What type of luxury is it to have two big men who put up 20-plus point double-doubles in the same game? <laughs> oh, man. I mean, they get they 20 points, they get the rebounds, and they get, the, you know, the blocks. And, you know, they don't, you don't even see, like, in the stat sheet how many shots they alter. So, you know, they do it all for us. And having both of them, you know, talented as talented as they are is, is huge for our team. You know, we base a lot of our, the way we play off of those guys. Another start with Karras um, tonight. What are you noticing about the confidence and being comfortable these past couple games? Yeah, I mean, I, I think he's just super confident, super aggressive. And, you know, yeah, that's who Karras LeVert is, and that's who we all know him, know him as. And um, So it's definitely huge for us to have, you know, that contribution with him, especially with Don out. Um, but, you know, we're going to need that consistently from him, like, because that's, that's him. Um, what have you seen from, what did you see from Evan kind of in the fourth quarter, those 10 points in a row to kind of get you guys going? Yeah, he had 10 points in a row? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, I thought he was just, I thought he did everything. You know, uh, I thought he was finishing when he had, you know, the, had the right opportunity. And I thought he was passing really well, too, um, even for some some opportunities that didn't fall. Um, I thought he had played a great all-around game. And then JB and, and guys have talked about your, you know, we talked about your defensive identity. Yeah. Uh, you specifically, your mentality. What are you doing, like, in timeouts and huddles to get guys going to kind of remind guys of that identity? Uh, just... You know, keep everybody focused on, you know, that's what we do. Um, and kind of just re-engaging everybody in whatever our game plan is and uh, just, you know, remind them so there's no mistakes and everybody's on the same page. Um, but I think that's the main thing I do, just, you know, so we all are clicking all together. How gratifying is that that, like, you know, 1 to 15, everybody has a voice on this team. You yeah. can step up in those moments, say what you need to say, and, and you know, that message is heard by everyone. I mean... I think that's a testament to a great team, um, a great organization, and uh, I think we're building something special. You know, you know, to have everybody to feel comfortable to you know voice their opinion and to have guys that are receptive to that. Um, it's, I feel like that doesn't happen often in in really anything. So, just to have a great group of guys, it's, it's just it's fun to play with and it's fun to be a part of. What's the key to slowing down somebody as unorthodox as, as SGA? Uh, I think just the take away his tendencies. I think, you know, he's a guy that gets to the free throw line a lot, um, you know, and play him without fouling um, and, you know, just be as physical as you can with him. Um, but I think that, that those are the two biggest things you could do. But, you know, he's super talented. Um, so a lot of times you just got to, you know, get a good contest and hope he misses. And with that sequence that, that I wanted to refer to was uh, when you stopped him on the three-point line and then you hit a three on your own the other. Was, yeah. was that your favorite moment of the game, would you say? <laughs> yeah, that was definitely probably my favorite moment, Ned, for sure.